How's it? Hey, Luz. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Let's be calm <laughs> before the storm. It's a little vlog, little news, and I'll try to be short, I think. No, every time I say that. The wind's a little bit picking up, and with that comes the weekend weather, well, report. El Nino's been <laughs> with these, popping out these little things, and two of them are coalescing and forming a basically kind of a tropical storm-ish, depending if it goes in strength or down. And it's coming this weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, you know. And so the wind will pick up, but it's not picking up much from right now. It's going 35 to maybe 40 gust. And there'll be rain probably for sure. So everyone's weather alert with flooding. Behind that is another one that's going to go to hurricane strength and probably back down. And I don't know if it's going to run us over or clip us, but there's something behind it. So the news is all covering, remember the old hurricanes. And yeah, I do. I remember Eva. Eva came closer to Honolulu than it did Kauai. Usually they'll go track south and then after Kauai track up north. Eva or Evie came and clipped Oahu in Honolulu. The next one, Iniki, didn't go, I mean, it was, it didn't clip Honolulu, but it went north and over Kauai and sat on Kauai for three days. That's why Iniki is such a nasty one. It's like a 92 thing. But when these events go, I mean, it's like, it does, you know, like, oh, get some batteries. Get some batteries, get some toilet paper, and when it does the little go to the store, get prepared. And even I even like got scared and taped up windows, and I'm like, man, I mas masking tape over big plane. Room. But one of these, if it comes at, like hurricane strength, and it's aimed at us, there's like nothing you can do to prepare, because you can feel it. I remember Eva. I was in the corner of this room in a chair, a comfy kind of chair, and there was, I mean, it lights out. I mean, power goes out, hours and hours, there's no power. So I had like Gando, a little book, I had Mark Twain's A Night in Connecticut, uh, uh, um, a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. I'm trying to read this by candlelight. And it was dark, and I'm freaking petrified, and this blast stuff is just rattling, and it's like the hurricane, you know, tornado people. Tornado people. You could, it sounds like a train, freight train. It was rumble, rumble in this glass. I thought it was going to be blasting for hours. It was freaking scary. Now, mm, this is not going to be anything like that. It's going to probably rain too much. That's the vlog. <laughs> the news. The. Uh, but the Democratic Convention is still going. Uh, Kamala Harris have probably accepted the nomination already. Tim Walls is uh, giving speeches. There's two. Like a coach. We're down and in and in this town. We're down to the last quarter. It's time to make that push drive. Can you repeat? <laughs> Can you repeat? No. And then uh, the Republican, like uh, the Vice President, Shady, Shady Vance, Baby, 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 Baby Vance. <laughs> I don't know, it's his alias name. That guy with the eyeliner, he's coming out going like, you know, the Republican, uh, the Democrats are saying that it's bad if they vote for Trump. That doesn't show the joyful Democrats. <laughs> it is bad if you vote for him. <laughs> You're kidding? Look at what he's... And it's not like my opinion it's bad it's like kind of factually look what he's got and what he's gonna do and it's like oh my god oh, oh. and he says this is what i'm gonna do and you look at that what he says he's gonna do and it's holy crap it's 
dictator stuff. Anyways, on a cheerier note, Hawaii's got news too. Look. Scratch. Scratch. Let's make this fast. Look. Bribed. Bribed. Okay, no. Looks like we got trouble in paradise again. It's, it wouldn't be news if it wasn't some type of problem. Hawaii news. <laughs> the rock quarry. There's this big rock quarry on the other side of the Ko'olau range. And uh, you drive by, kind of H3, I think you can see it. You look out, and you see it. It's like, what are they doing? It doesn't look natural. They got 15 year extension. So 15 more years, they're going to be carving out <laughs> a giant gash out of the top. You know, first they're building up too many buildings. I didn't want to go and see too many, oh, too many buildings. You turn into Tokyo, not Tokyo, Shanghai. Why is she here? <laughs> and uh, this is like, they have built up the buildings, but now it's like carved the island out from underneath. <laughs> Jesus. Oh gosh. And then there's, yeah, walls is da da da. Yay, look at me. Uh, I think um, overall, it's a very powerful convention, and in comparison, uh, I'm thinking they're gonna win. Just looking at that stuff, and that's what it's all about. These these are rallies to win the election. Of course they are. Okay, uh, sports little leaguers. Okay, the poor Hawaii guys, even from Maui and all that. Yay! They lost to Florida, so they're over with <laughs> they're out no more little league superstar worldwide championship no i'm sorry because they lost to florida of all people uh oh he lost to florida okay and uh I, there's football somewhere <laughs> i don't know where oh perhaps a little back in the day that'd be nice look back in the day when you want to relax back in 1988 when you relax just look at your brand new flying solar Zoom car. <laughs> what the heck is that? 1988. Oh, this is Space Mobile. Visitor from Japan examines solar powered racing solar powered racing car. The Mana La on display in International Renewable Energy Conference held at the Sheraton Waikiki. Renewable energy in 1988. Wow, the guy solar power car, eh? Not feeling well. <laughs> I guess it didn't feel we don't see those two around too much. They're going more uh Okay, they're going more uh, green energy, renewable, like solar counts as that. Parallels between Japan World War II tragedy and Palestinian. I I don't know what to say about the Palestinian stuff, so I won't. It's it is what it is. This that's their thing. They retrieved hostages. I mean the dead hostages. To retrieve some of them. Oh gosh. There's Joe. And the results, and he's off and riding off to the sunset. I did well. I did my. I gave it my best. Okay. And truly, I don't know which one to pick here. Israel flouts. Climate change requires. Biden. I guess we'll go with the uh, 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 the uh, <clears throat> once again. This is the other way. This is the spin, I think, on the... It's because they're doing so well, they got to put some hearts. I think there's these spin people are getting paid. There's so much millions. <laughs> Biden's DNC bow throws Trump into stark relief. No, no, wait. This one. This is the, yeah, that's, that's probably more real. This one, the spin. The road to socialism is paved with raw emotion. Mm-hmm. If anyone was surprised at President Biden's frailty, I hope by now you are beginning to realize what that oh, that we've been subjected to misleading information and lies for the past nine years. Observing politics these years, I am keenly aware of the lies, corruption, and attempts to dismantle our constitutional republic. For the first time in 63 years, I saw a tsunami of people succumbing to the 
indoctrination of hate division being spewed all over by this administration via politicians and biasly legacy mainstream media what say that again and a biased legacy mainstream media backed by elites and oligarchs this plan has thus far been a smashing success oh wait oh wait, oh, wait. we are heading down the road of socialism people have learned to vote by their Ta ta taught <laughs> emotions. Joseph. Taught emotions. Not using common sense, discernment, and thorough research. Alison Lopez Kalihi. Thank you, Alison, for um uh yeah saying um I got a, I got an update going on with my OBS. Wait, what the heck? Oh, oh okay. Thank you, Alison. So like our like our robots, robots in Beijing. See, we got we got bigger fish to fry, <laughs> but all that emotion. Of course, it's emotion. Huh? Oh gosh. Okay. Let me let me tell you about American politics in the 1880s or 1860s. Oh, and early, even earlier in the early 17, late mid 1700s, politics in America, Americana history. The politics was. Everyone met at the pubs. That's where it was, was a gathering place. That was the mall rats of back then. And so what they did was they would go to the pubs where all the people were and say, vote for this guy, don't vote for that guy. And they would do stuff and they would say what they were going to do. And then they would buy people pints of ale. They would buy them the old style beer. They would just buy them ale. They're buying them liquor to get them all sauced up. To vote for them and they win doing that it was done because it worked and nowadays with ai generated material that it can be used to combat you know imagine something written by ai that was a scathing bad mouthing whatever you want to call it the other one so it's just I mean, but they don't even need to do that. They got like hiring millions and tens of millions of dollars. You just pay people and they go on there and they'll go on news programs. Hey man, it's so bad. It's so bad. They're cha ching. <laughs> They're so bad. Cha ching. So, yeah, you gotta discern a whole lot of stuff. But um, rallying up the emotions is part of the thing. Because people should get a little. <laughs> You will wake up because of this election is a historical game changer. It's either gonna America's gonna continue to progress or it's not gonna be America. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. So uh, there it is. Um, so you know if it gets locked in the other way. People are like thinking of leaving the country, but I don't think it's going to happen because there's just too many people. There's too much diversity in America and there's too much of American people and they ain't that stupid. I mean, you can say stuff with um, animated grandmother gestures, you know, that's just entertainment. That's just entertaining or trying to keep attention, but it's not like people are stupid. People know, they hear that stuff and they know. And you can say one thing and they know, they can see through stuff too. Just like kids, kids aren't that dumb either. So just, I I know I realize this so weird. Kids will pretend they're stupid. Kids will pretend they're, oh, is that what? And then when the adults are not, you know, paying outside. attention to them. I want to talk. The kids are talking to each other like they're like gang of thieves, adults. It's like, holy crap, I've seen this in person. Kids are not dumb. So, anyways, blah blah. I think it'll be fine. What button do I push? Here comes the here comes the storm. Okay, bye. Nothing one more day. Oh, transition. Here we go. Okay, race for the uh, kind thing. Oh, is this? No, I don't want to try making short. Yeah, every time. Okay, aloha to you. Aloha, aloha, aloha. 